In this exercise, you'll see how to convert existing layouts to constraint layout using Android Studio. Constraint layout is well integrated with the design editor, and a built-in converter is included that will attempt to flatten your layout to fully take advantage of the performance capabilities of constraint layout. Let's start by converting activity team members.xml from relative layout to constraint layout. Open the file in Android Studio and click the design tab. Find the root relative layout in the component tree. Right click and choose Convert Relative Layout to Constraint Layout. You're presented with the Convert to Constraint Layout dialog. Android Studio is going to convert the file for you, setting up all the necessary constraints, and gives you two options on how to perform the conversion. The first, Flatten Layout Hierarchy, will do all it can to ensure that the resulting constraint layout is completely flat, with no nested view groups. If you're looking for high performance, that is usually the way to go. We want to keep a few of the nested layouts in activityteammembers.xml, so we'll uncheck that box for this conversion. The other option, don't flatten layouts referenced by ID from other files, does not affect us here, so we'll leave it checked. Go ahead and tap OK to perform the conversion. You'll get a pop-up asking you if you want to add the constraint layout dependency, so say OK. Since your build files are affected, a Gradle sync will kick off and take a short amount of time. From the design editor preview, it looks as though the team member list is hitting the top of the view. And if you build and run the app and hit show members, we confirm that something's not quite right. Okay, so what happened? What went wrong? The Android Studio conversion attempted to set up constraints that would match the original relative layout. But the conversion process is not always perfect. So let's take a look at the XML to see what might have happened. In the relative layout, the frame layout child had a width and height both set to match parent, and was successfully taking up all the space below its sibling linear layout. The converter did not put in a constraint to team name container, but the frame layout is sized to match parent, which is not allowed to be used inside constraint layout. Let's see how to fix this. If we look at the frame layout, the conversion added a layout constraint top to bottom of constraint to the linear layout, which is correct. However, it also left the height as match parent. We need to convert the height to zero DP, which in the case of constraint layout means to match the constraints. Also set the width to zero DP and let's manually add a few more constraints to the parent. Using the design editor, Add bottom, start, and end constraints to the frame layout. Set the margin value for each of these new constraints to zero. When you're done, you see that the frame layout now appears to be looking correct. You actually don't need those margins, so you can remove them in the text editor. Going back to the design view, everything still looks good. Note that you're using the app prefix on the attributes and not the Android prefix, reflecting the fact that constraint layout is unbundled. If you build and run the app now, you see that switching to zero DP fixed the height issue we saw after the conversion process. Before we finish, let's clean up a few items in the XML code. First, let's run reformat code on the file. There's a spurious ID attribute on the root that we don't need, so remove that now. And there's a spurious orientation attribute that came from an earlier video, so we can remove that too. You've converted your first basic layout into a constraint layout, and added the constraint layout dependency into the project.